welcome to my channel. Welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, I will again introduce myself. My name is Marnell, but you can call me Mar. I've been a watercolorist for quite a long time now, but I've been into arts ever since I was young. Um, I love sketching, I love drawing, I love painting. I also do charcoal um, medium from time to time. So I, aside from painting, I also vlog about pet care, pet care tips, pet care hacks. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have two lovely fur babies. Two, two. I have two lovely fur babies. I have Luna and Atlas. I have two Siberian Huskies. So if you want to check them out, you can ano, um, browse through my videos. And then I also have a pet cat who I will introduce soon. And dito po siya kasama po siya inside the room. Cosmo, come here! Cosmo sleeping. So. Um, from time to time, I also upload videos about my travels, if I have, if I do have travels. For today, um, yun nga, it's somehow special because we are actually here in my art studio. Actually, it's just a part of my room. Half of my room is my art studio. So, ayan, as you can see, my art table is behind me, some of my supplies. Tapos, ah, behind me pala, that one. I also did that. So, naka DIY din po yan. Siguro, Next time, I'll probably make, if you want, I'll make, ano, let me know. I want, I'll make a video on how I did that. Yeah, but it's, it's very nice, very, very nice. You don't have to buy stuff um, in the mall. Kayang kaya po yan gawin. Tsaka sobrang mura lang po. Uh, malit lang ang puhunan dyan. So, I love DIYs kasi and crafts. So, yun nga. Um, enough of the chit chat. For today, I'm gonna make a quick tutorial. I know you've seen my process videos for time lapses for flower bouquets. Um, but some of you requested for me to make a tutorial. So for today, I chose one, one flower, one type of flower. So, which is the orchid. So for the, those of you who want to learn how to paint this from start to finish, um, I hope you can paint it with me. Um, but before we start, I'm gonna show you the materials that we will use for so we can make this lovely, lovely, lovely painting. It's very dainty. So, of course, um, before you do any painting, you have to have materials on hand. So, I uh, know this my materials. The materials that I I use for this type of painting is very very cheap. So it's very very affordable. Marami po kasi ng gamit for watercolor na super super mahal. Um, pero yung gigamitin ko po for this I know for this tutorial is very cheap. So for the paper, I uh, I bought this yesterday. It's by Fabriano. It's ten sheets po siya na and it's two hundred gsm. So, for those of you who are starting with watercolor, it's important for you to choose the best type of paper, even the thickness. Why? Because when you do watercolor painting, it has the paper needs to hold a certain amount of water. So, hindi siya basa basa bond paper lang or Oslo paper that you can use for painting. So, it has to be ano for watercolor talaga. Nakasulat po siya na it's for watercolor. So again, marami pong type of thickness ng watercolor depends on what type of painting or what what kind of ano um item you will be painting. So since orchids lang naman po, enough na enough na yung 200 GSM. Dun sa ipit paint po natin today. So this is 9 by 12 cold pressed watercolor paper. Yeah. It's very cheap. This I bought this in Art Bar in Rockwell. So you have the paper. Also, you should have to have your paint. Um, I have a lot of, I know, different kinds of paint, brands of paints here. But for this painting, sabi ko nga, gusto ko yung medyo affordable. So, madali lang siyang i-paint kahit sino. So, this is by, um, tinanggal ko na kasi yung brand, Simba, Simbalon or Simbalayon? Simbal, Simbalion? I'm not sure. Parang ganun. I bought this in National Bookstore. Matagal na po to sa akin kasi I started with this. So, medyo ano siya, may sentimental value. Ito po ako nagsimula. <laughs> um, as you can see, this is very, very cheap. This is around, parang I think 300, more or less. It has 24. 24 
ano, swatches. And then, the cover actually, may, mas marami silang, marami pang kinds doon. May mga mas konti, may 16, merong 8, parang ganun. May 12, but I bought yung 24 para mas marami akong options. Para I don't have to mix colors. The cover can be detached, tapos this actually can also be used as a palette. But, I'm not using this one. I'll show you my palette, my ever trusty palette, and what kind of palette that I use. So, yan. Um, again, this is by Simbalion. <laughs> Simbalion. From, yan, from National. This is also available in Art Bar. It's very, very cheap. So, kung 300 plus to yung mas konti yung colors, mas mura. So, of course, when you have your... When you have your paper, you have your watercolor paint, you have to have your brush. So, marami po akong brushes, but, but for this specific painting, we will only use this one brush, which is very, very versatile. That's why I chose this brush. It's number 10. It's number 10. This is a round, round brush po siya. So, siguro next time, I'll make a tutorial on how to choose the best type of brushes for watercolor painting. This is actually from Japan. My sister bought this for me. This is my most ano, favorite of all. Current. My most current favorite. So, also, you have to have your water container. Tinatanggal po po to kasi I maintain two containers. One is for... Um, rinsing the colors, and then one is for, you know, pangtanggal ng mga tira-tirang paint. Actually, pareho naman siyang pang rinse, but it's always best practice to use two. Okay. So, aside from that, yun, like I mentioned, kanina. Palettes. I have, I have my existing paint pa, I'm sorry. Hindi ko siya nalinis. Why? Kasi what's nice about watercolor painting is, when the paint dries up, you can actually reuse it. Why? Because with watercolor, it's, well, water-activated po siya. So, pwede siyang basain ulit para magamit yung paint. So, my palettes are actually made of porcelain. Why? Kasi po pag porcelain, mas magadali pong magmix. As you can see, yung pagmix po ng color buo. Pag plastic po kasi yung ginagamit na pang mix, yung mixing palette po ninyo, nag puddles mapapansin nyo po siya, try nyo po kapag nag-mix kayo ng colors. That's why I use porcelain, kasi mas maganda po yung pag-mix, pag-combine po ng iba-ibang colors, and yun nga, hindi siya nag puddles So, nagagamit ko talaga totally lahat ng paint na nilalagay ko. So, uh, what else? I also have this. I bought this actually from Ikea. <laughs> Ikea. I bought this sorry. Yan. I bought this in Taiwan when I traveled. Actually, cell phone, cell phone holder po ito. <laughs> cell phone holder siya. But, nagagamit ko siya kasi maganda po siyang lalagyan ng ano, paintbrush. So, pag naka-standby yung mga paintbrush ko, dito ko po siyang nilalagay. So, yan. Okay lang naman to. Hindi to. This isn't actually a requirement. So, yun. Um, so, before we start, and this is Cosmo. I'll show you. I'll show you my pet cat for a while. Come here. This is my pet cat. This is Cosmo. Cosmo is actually actually a Himi. He is a Himalayan. He is going five months. Five months now, baby boy. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He is a Himalayan cat. Um, bigay po siya ng dad ng boyfriend ko. Yeah, so. Cosmo, say hi! <laughs> Tinatry ko po siyang turuan ng tricks. Siguro soon, I'll make, ano, um, cat videos featuring Cosmo, the him. Okay, bye! So guys, let's start painting! Before we start, I think I failed to mention that you would also need to have a tissue with you on hand because you would need to dab the brush and the water while you are painting once in a while. I usually don't sketch or draw on top of my paper because I really hate the lines. So what I do is I usually plan out before I start painting. So for this specific painting, we will be using this color. It's dark violet. I know it kind of looks like black, but it's not. It's dark, dark violet. 
So an orchid has around five petals and the whole flower kind of looks like a star. I'm going to be painting small, small triangles to make it look like the petals of the orchid. And I'm going to be leaving a small white space in the middle so I can paint the center part of the flower or the column later on. So the last two petals at the bottom part of the flower doesn't have to be a full triangle or a perfect triangle because it depends on the perspective of the flower or where you want the orchid to face. So in this case, um, the flower is actually facing me. So now we move on to the center part of the flower, which is the column. I'm going to be using this bright, bright yellow and I'm going to be dabbing a little bit of pigment on the middle of the flower. It's okay if the colors blend. So now we move on to painting the second flower. And I'm going to be painting again small triangles to create another orchid for our painting. As you can see, I'm going to be putting more pigment towards the middle part of the petals to make the flower look more realistic. So when you are not satisfied with the shape of the flower, you can actually use your brush and the pigment to push the paint around until you are satisfied with the shape of the flower. Again, we follow the same steps so we can create more orchids until you are satisfied with the quantity of the flowers that you want to put in your painting. So as you can see on my hand are half pans from Windsor & Newton brand, which I use for my other paintings. These are highly pigmented and they have the best quality of paints, which I love. So my current verdict for the Zimbalion watercolor cake, it's okay if you are starting as a watercolorist or if you are starting to use the medium watercolor. But I would highly suggest for you to invest in a higher quality of paint 
if you are growing as an artist. So we have a lot of brands out there. We have Daniel Smith, but that's very, very expensive. We have Winter and Newton. We also have Reeves. Reeves is actually good if you are also a beginner or maybe an advanced watercolorist because their paints are actually pigmented too. And it's cheaper compared to Daniel Smith and Winter and Newton paints. So as you can see, to make the painting more realistic, I added a few more petals and I scattered it across the painting. I strategically placed it in certain parts of the paper where I will put the stem later on. I'm adding a few more buds. So now that we are almost done with the buds and the flowers, we move on to paint the stem of the orchid. I'm going to be using this shade of green. But as you can see, the color looks a bit awkward because it's too bright. So what I do is that I mix colors. I mix brown with this shade of green to make it look darker. Now I'm going to try to paint the stem and I'm going to start at the bottom part of the page, slowly working my way up. To connect the flowers and the buds all together. Please remember that when painting the stem, the stem doesn't have to be a straight line or a perfect line because we are trying to aim for that realistic look. Now that you are done with the full stem, we finally move on to the last part of your tutorial, which is painting the leaves. Now, Orchids has long leaves, and whenever you paint leaves, you have to push the brush to create the middle part or the thicker part of the leaf, and then slightly lift the brush to create the pointed part of the leaf. Again, you have to push and then slowly lift. If you are not satisfied, with the shape and size of the leaf, you can play around the brush and the pigment until you are satisfied with the shape and color that you want. You can actually add a few more colors such as yellow or brown together with your greens to make the painting more realistic. Now I'm just adding a few more touches to finalize the painting. Now we are finally done with your artwork. Congratulations to finishing your first Orchid artwork. So guys, again, thank you for taking time to paint with me. <laughs> At least now you already know how to paint some dainty florals, well specifically orchids. 
I hope next time I can teach you again how to paint some more, um, some more flowers. Siguro I'll try to choose a different type of fl flower next time. So uh, again, please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and then also I'd appreciate if you can leave a comment down below. So at least, you know, baka lang you want to learn a different, uh, specific type of flower, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll just read it and then I'll let you know. Surprise na lang for my next video. Again, um, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you.